Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com, and I want to welcome everyone to another Patreon behind the scenes. Now, as many of you know, here on Patreon, I'm pretty big on Oracle cards, and I enjoy doing that, checking out to see what kind of signs I'm going to get from these cards, what kind of synchronicities are going to abound from them. I also enjoy tarot as well. And what I look for are, once again, these synchronicities. Now, of course, there's many ways of divination that you can choose. You can choose oracle cards, tarot, runes, uh, whatever you desire. Uh, some people use a pendulum. Um, I use whatever tools are available that resonate with me. And for example, you, if you're going out oracle card shopping, you know, if mermaids and dolphins have some kind of affinity to you, or for example, you're looking for spirit messages, pick up those cards, try them out. Most places that you go to, for example, here in Sarasota, we have a place called Elysian Fields. And they have decks that you can try out. And oftentimes I'll try them out and I'll do, give myself a little sample reading with whatever deck it is. And if I find some kind of synchronicity in the reading, I'll probably end up buying the deck. Now, the first part of this is going to be presented to everyone here on Patreon as well as YouTube. And... Afterwards, I'll go into the Oracle card readings uh, for our Patreon family. But this morning, I drew a simple three card layout, past, present, and future. And this is some of the synchronicities that I'm talking about. Now, the first card that was drawn was the King of Pentacles. And the second card is the Moon, with the third card being the Seven of Wands. Now, we're not gonna go too much into the past, but this is our first card, which is the past, the King of Pentacles. Now, you see that he's deep in thought and introspect. And what I love about this card, <laughs> I gotta look around the card. What I love about this card is that most people that are deep in introspect are introverts as you know i call myself the king of introverts <laughs> there's a myers-briggs personality test that you can take that gives you four letters and these four letters show you whether you're an introvert or an extrovert there's no way, wrong way of answering these 72 questions i believe but you answer the 72 questions and then you get four letters my four letters are i n f p the I stands for introvert and is intuitive F is feelings. And I forgot what the P is. It might be perception. I have to check on that. But what, with the King of Pentacles, this, this gentleman is, <laughs> in my opinion, he's, he's an introvert. He's uh, going in in deep thought and introspect. He worked hard to get to where he is. He's quiet but charming. He tells great stories and captivates his audience. He's the kind of person that you'd love to work for just because he's going to say, wow, you, you did such a great job. People value his words more than the pay that he gives. So I found this to be a beautiful card, uh, basically showing us that it's a group reading for us, the introverts. <laughs> And uh, it leads us to our second card, which is the moon. Now, it's the synchronicity on this is that today there is a full moon in Capricorn. So let's take a peek at this card again. What you see is a crustacean coming out from the stream and heading down this path. And I found that interesting because if you think about the full moon, the actual month that we're having the full moon is July and the sign is Cancer. So we have 
the crustacean represented here for cancer. Now, the moon is all about deception and illusion. So another thing that comes to mind with that is Pluto and Capricorn, how the truth vibration is rising and we're seeing a lot of deception that was previously covered up being exposed through the truth vibration. Recently, we saw Jeffrey Epstein get arrested for child trafficking, and this is one of the many truths that are coming up. If you notice the twin towers right here on the card, you have the left and right, uh, that's basically representing good versus evil, polarity, duality, you know, good and bad, we have represented on these cards. So you can look at that as possibly, at least once again, through this intuitive uh, phase of the moon, which brings out your intuition. I'm sensing that this has a lot to do with that Jeffrey Epstein being arrested in upper Manhattan and the blackout that went out for uh, several hours there. I also want you to take a look at the, the dog and the wolf howling. Am I getting that card on the screen? I can't tell. <laughs> Hopefully I am. We have a dog and a wolf howling in, on this picture. And that kind of shows us, you know, the domesticated versus the tame. Uh, it brings out the, perhaps maybe the wild aspects of, of ourselves. If you think about the moon and the prefix Luna, lunar, you hear about people going crazy on the days of a full moon. I know nurses dread working on these days, but you know, Luna also is the prefix for lunatic. So there's a lot of processing and transmuting going on within this card when you have the duality and the polarity going back and forth. And basically what you want to look at is how does that make you feel? A lot of times we feel anxiety or fear and it helps us to address that those shadow aspects of ourself that cause anxiety and fear within us. You also want to look at what hidden truths are being revealed or illuminated by the moon. The moon is a uh, feminine object as opposed to the sun being masculine, the sun of God and the moon of God is a feminine aspect. But it also shows us that not everything is what it seems. And that's, once again, we can go back to that, uh, that, that blackout in New York City where there was probably some covert operations going on and there was probably more that went on during that blackout than what we really know or what we're being showed so far. So in relationships, you might find miscommunications. If you're single, there might be deception going on, or if you're dating, there might be intentions that maybe aren't so good or truthful being placed out there that perhaps they, that person may or may not follow through on. Most importantly, what you get out of this card, the moon, is to focus on your dreams and intuition. So what kind of dreams have you been having? Have they been giving you clues? Once again, playing on to your intuition, are they giving you, giving you clues as to what direction perhaps you should be going? Now, if the dreams have been somewhat dark and shady, that's okay because what's, what, what it's doing is it's bringing up the shadow self. It's showing you and giving you the opportunity to overcome these challenges. Because it's a very intuitive card though, it doesn't mean that just when you're dreaming, you're tapping into your intuition. Use your intuition during this full moon period and even beyond because that's what this card represents. It doesn't have to mean during this full moon, but tap into your intuition and use your discernment to figure out what is right and what is wrong and it'll help lead you down the path that you're supposed to be going on to help fulfill your life purpose now the last card 
is the seven of wands and what we see here is a man standing up defending himself against all these people and basically what this is you know he's outnumbered he's he's standing his ground he feels like maybe he's being attacked for whatever reasons but he's still on top and he's standing in, in his vibration of truth love and light and that's the biggest message i get out of that you know despite what anyone else says or thinks stand in that vibration of truth love and light especially in this genre that we're in right now a lot of people think you know you're crazy because you're, you're saying all these different things about energy and high-pitched frequencies and stuff like that it doesn't matter what other people think or say it matters what you think or say so you perhaps this is a sign for some people to come out of the spiritual closet and stand in that vibration of truth, love, and light. So if you take a look at his shoes here, he's got two different shoes on. So maybe he was quick to get out to defend himself. He was perhaps sleeping, metaphorically asleep, and then woke up at and threw his shoes on and stood in his vibration of truth love and light and now he's got you know these people that are coming up after him but yet he's still on top of the situation and where he needs to be so that's what i got out of this reading the most important thing is you know just in brief and there's probably a lot more that i'm missing but the synchronicity of having the moon on the day of the full moon was what prompted me to put this part out to everyone. So we have this card symbolizing going within and representing basically many of us as introverts. This card illuminating the dark and showing us about the importance of our dreams and intuition. And this card showing us the importance of standing within our truth and in the vibration of truth love and light so i'm going to leave it off at that for our youtube followers i want to thank everyone for joining us here on youtube and i'm going to be going on to do some oracle card readings for our patreon family as always i want to thank everyone for joining me here i hope that you can uh, like subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you are subscribed make sure you hit that bell notification button so you are updated on when new videos are coming out what i'll be doing is i'll be playing that intro song at the after this video and i'll be hanging out on the chat if you're watching this live uh, just to chat with and talk with anyone who's out there about what they might be thinking about about what's going on with these tarot cards or and or within your life in general. So I'll be hanging out for about an extra five minutes. If you're watching this on the recorded version, just tap that little window next to the video and you can, you can read the chat comments. So I'm going to leave it off at that. Until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from N5D.com. Namaste.
Thank you.